to the double laptop and we got an issue with this one same invalid partition table that the problem is so it started all of uh, after installing a new windows on this laptop so you could use a default bios settings so it will not help so we're gonna have to go and let me just get rid of this screen or even just control alt and delete so once you control on to delete or restart just press the f12 while it's a loading and you'll get to this point okay what you need to do is go to ufi boot select ufi hard drive so once you're here just switch it off false switch off because okay switch it on again now we go to boot menu bias or boot menu I need to change something in there to be able for the laptop to <coughs> run the windows so if you go to bias or sequence you can see and your advanced uh, boot option make, make sure the enable legacy option is on go to boot sequence and change the bias to UFI apply it and exit it should boot now into the windows and let's see if that works okay it seems it's loading something There you go, I got two windows in there. But get the first one, forget about the second one. Getting services. Okay, there we go. Because it's new windows, it might take a little bit to get the windows ready. So this um, problem comes after you install a UFI Windows or Windows 10 on you on your hard drive. If you see this problem, then this is the solution to get this work. Um, there you go guys, um, thank you very much for watching this video, a very quick video, cheers.